What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. You ever walk into your storage area and think, where did all this stuff come from? Yeah, same here. New shipments keep rolling in, and somehow they always end up in the wrong place. Now, I could spend all day playing Warehouse Tetris, but I'd rather let Odoo do the work for me. So that's where put-away rules come in. With Odoo's inventory app, I can set up put-away rules that can tell everyone when this product arrives, it should be stored here. Think of it like a built-in warehouse GPS, Odoo's way of saying, here's your package, now put it exactly where it belongs. In my warehouse, I've got a general storage area called the warehouse stock, but within that specific space, I've set up a dedicated shelf just for music-related products called warehouse stock music. By setting up a put-away rule, Odoo automatically directs all my incoming vinyl records to that shelf. And when it's time to ship out an order, Odoo tells me exactly where to grab them. So if you're a fan of keeping things neat and organized, let's dive into our Odoo database and see just how easy it is to set up put-away rules in Odoo. All right, before I can make a put-away rule, I need to enable a few things first for my warehouse settings. To do that, I'm just going to click into the inventory application, click on configuration at the top, followed by settings. Now from here, we're just gonna scroll to the very bottom to our warehouse section. And we want to make sure that multi-step routes as well as storage locations are enabled. These features are necessary for put-away rules because storage locations let me set up different areas for my products to be stored inside of the warehouse or across multiple warehouses, refrigerators, shelves, or even vendor storage sites, but we'll get into that in another video. Meanwhile, multi-step routes allow for products to be moved to their designated shelves, racks, or aisles. In Odoo, put-away rules automatically create stock moves, which guide my warehouse workers to put the products away correctly. All right, now I'm going to click on the configuration subheading once again. And this time, I can see options for locations as well as put-away rules in this menu. We'll check that out first, and I'm just going to click into locations. And looky right here, we already have our parent location warehouse stock set up. That's a great start, but I want to set up a designated spot just for my vinyl records so I know where to store them and where to find them. To do that, I'm just going to click New in the upper left-hand corner, and when I do, this form loads, and I'm just going to enter Music as the location name. Now, for the parent location, I'm just going to select Warehouse Stock. Now, as you can see, there are a lot more options that we can configure and customize on this page. But for now, we're just going to click the locations breadcrumb and boom. Here's my brand new location just for my vinyl records. OK, now it's finally time to create a put away rule. To do that, once again, we're going to click our trusty good friend, the configuration subheading. Then from here, we're just going to click on put away rules. OK, from here, I'm going to make a new rule by clicking New in the upper left-hand corner. And the first thing I need to decide is a location. And to do that, when I click in the When Product Arrives in Field, I have the ability to check a location from this drop-down menu. But for this instance, we're going to keep it as Warehouse Stock. Next, I need to decide what this rule applies to. So in the Product field right here, I'm going to select Vinyl Record. As you can see, we also have the ability to create a put-away rule based on a product category. This is useful when many products in a category are stored in the same place, allowing you to set the put-away rule once for the category instead of for each product. Saves a bunch of time. Finally, I need to decide where to move that product. To do that, I'm going to click into the Store to Location field here, and I'm just going to choose Warehouse Stock Music. Another thing, Odooers, if you can't find your store to location, it might be because Odoo only allows stored locations to be assigned to child locations for the arrival location. For example, we can't use put-away rules to move products to warehouse stock to warehouse input. We'd use a route instead. We also have the ability to decide if there's a sub-location associated to the store to location. Here, we have the ability to select no, last used, as well as closest location. If last used or closest location is selected, you have the ability to select a storage category in the having category field. And in short, a storage category is where you can set a capacity or weight limit for a storage location. For more information on that, I'll link that in our documentation down below. 
At this point, my rule states if a vinyl record arrives at my warehouse stock, then they should be stored to the shelf in warehouse stock that I set up. Like I mentioned before, I could also set up a separate put away rule using that product category field instead. So we're going to do that now by saving this here. And then selecting new. So in the product category field, I'll select all saleable music. And then we're going to change the store to location to the same as the one above. So it's the exact same rules, just with a different product category instead of product. Now with this rule created, it now states that if I receive any product in the all saleable music category in our warehouse stock, then Odoo will tell me to store that product to my music shelf. And that's basic put away rules. Now let's see our rules in action. Remember, put away rules look at the initial arrival location and a product to tell us the store to location. To test the rule, let's buy some more vinyl records, shall we? So I'm going to head over to the purchase app. And I need to create a new RFQ. So I'll click new in the upper left hand corner. For my vendor, I'm going to select port of sound. And then I'll add my vinyl record product to the order lines. And we're just going to update this quantity here to 10. And once that looks good, we're just going to confirm our order. And once I confirm the order, I can check that the rule is in place by clicking on this receipt smart button here at the top. In the receipt itself, I can see that the vinyl record will arrive at the parent location, warehouse stock. Perfect. And when I either click this move smart button or this hamburger icon here on the order lines, I'm able to confirm that Odoo remembers the rule and will store the product to our music location, just like what we wanted. Awesome. Well, Odooers, that's how you make a put away rule. Good job following along. And if you're the one putting anything away, take it from me and always lift with your knees. I'll catch you in the next video.